Hi, this is Shafali Sharma with the Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy. I'm here at the Moon Palace in Cancun, Mexico, where um, 192 countries have been negotiating the climate talks um, for the last two weeks. Today is the last day of the talks. And um, in front of me are, is what I've been following for the last couple of, couple of weeks here. Uh, it's the agriculture text in um, one of the tracks of the, of the climate negotiations. It's called the Long-Term Cooperative Action under the Convention. It's called the LCA. And that's this big, long document. And in it, one of the chapters um, was chapter 9, called, uh, which is looking at cross-sectoral approaches. And since agriculture is supposed to be one of the, the major sources of emissions, um, they estimate that 14% of the emissions come directly from agriculture and up to 30% if we also count uh, land use changes and deforestation related to agriculture. Um, we've been tracking this quite closely. Uh, our interest, of course, is to also look at agriculture and what is going to happen to that sector uh, with regards to climate change. It is one of the most critical sectors um, for our livelihoods, for livelihoods of, of the majority of people in the developing world and a key sector for us in terms of food security and therefore what we feel is that adaptation to climate change is imperative for the agriculture sector. Now where this text is placed in the in the negotiations is under a mitigation framework and there are references to adaptation and food security but we feel that that whole issue on adaptation needs to be much stronger um, as a focus now yesterday negotiators uh, were at this, uh, negotiating this all day long. We had a difficult time trying to figure out what's really going on because unlike uh, normal UN processes, observers are also allowed to be part of contact groups that can watch the negotiations take place. These have been only limited to uh, parties that are negotiating, but what has happened uh, during these talks is that even the drafting groups then get um, separated out into more informals with just a few countries and that happened last evening when a few countries after negotiating all day and facing deadlock on what the overall framework for the sectoral approaches should be were you know referred to as kind of an informal group and after about negotiating for an hour they came back and basically the United States Canada and Japan were opposing the idea of even referring to the convention the the UN Convention on Climate Change, the Framework Convention on Climate Change, um, and particularly with regards to common but differentiated responsibility, the fact that industrialized countries have uh, a greater responsibility for reducing their emissions compared to developing countries. So there has been deadlock on the overall framework on how to address agriculture, uh, because under the convention, it's not just agriculture, it's also industry, it's also waste management and transport that we need to look at. Unfortunately, agriculture is the only one that's been singled out into these talks. So there's a concern that unless, by developing countries, and particularly the G77, that unless we actually have an agreement on the framework of addressing these various sectors, we can't just move forward with agriculture. So what we're finding out today is that, um, you know, at the end of l last evening, there was no agreement on what that overall framework for the sectoral approaches should be. And the chair of the, of the whole track, the LCA track, said, well, I guess that we, we, since we cannot come to any agreement, we're going to stop negotiating on this for now and postpone this you know, until the next, uh, next negotiating session, which will be in June. But today we're hearing that, I guess, ministers are also now consulting amongst each other to see if there can be some progress on this. And what I heard this morning is that certain countries are talking amongst each other. Now this is a very critical, you know, we've been through this with the WTO. The, a lot of the governments here don't know what's going on. They're not part of the negotiations. Only a few key countries are, are having, you know, behind the scenes uh, discussions about this. We've been told now that a new chair, uh, a text will come out both on the Kyoto Protocol, the KP track, and the LCA track probably within the next hour. So we don't know what the cross-sectoral approach is. Uh, text will look like, whether it'll look like a text that, you know, was came from Tianjin, the last negotiating session, or, you know, some of the different versions that we've seen, like this one, 
and what version that will be. So we'll have to you know, report back on, on the progress.